Hi folks, welcome along to a new video, welcome back to the channel and on this video today we are going to look at the uh, process you would go through or one potential method you would use to remove OneDrive from Windows 10. Now the version of Windows 10 that I am on is um, 1.8.0.9 I believe. So I'm on Windows 10 Pro 1.8.0.9 as you can see here. But this method should apply to older uh, versions of Windows 10 and potentially some newer ones as well. So OneDrive we can see down in my taskbar here. So OneDrive down there shows up to date. And in the file explorer we can see we have a OneDrive entry in there as well. So the way that I remove OneDrive from um, the system is to use the group policy editor. So if we click on start, there's two ways to get to the group policy editor. Click on start and type group and we can see the option for edit group policy. Or the other way you can do it is using the run command. So holding the Windows key on the keyboard and pressing R and typing gpedit.msc it takes you to the same window. So I'm just going to open this window a little bit wider just now to give us some room. And under the computer configuration section, I'm going to expand out administrative templates Windows Components, and on the list we will find OneDrive. And you can see on the right hand side, in the right hand panel here, none of this stuff has been um, configured. And to disable OneDrive, we're going to use this one here, prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. So we double click on that. We select Enabled. Now I know we're disabling OneDrive and we're selecting Enabled, but what we're doing is enabling the policy to prevent the usage of OneDrive for file storage. So we click on Apply, we click on OK, close that window down, and what we're now going to do is reboot the system. OK, the system is back online now, and if we take a look at the taskbar, um, we can see that um, there's no Microsoft OneDrive icon there. And if I open the File Explorer, on the left-hand panel here, there is no reference to OneDrive either. So OneDrive is now um, disabled, I guess, on this system using the Group Policy Editor. Um, now, if you ever wanted to validate that this has been done, or if you wanted to re-enable the, uh, the use of OneDrive on the system, then what you would do, again, go into the Group Policy Editor, expand out Admin Templates under Computer Configuration, Windows Components, uh, Find OneDrive, and then you can see on the right hand panel this time that uh, prevent usage of OneDrive is enabled. If we wanted to re-enable OneDrive, we would simply double click on that and change the value to not configured, apply and reboot the machine. I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, if you do have any comments or questions, please drop them below. And if this video has helped you at all, please subscribe to the channel. It would help with future growth. Thanks for watching.